Mountain biking has deep roots in Crested Butte. From modifying Schwinn Townies to get over Pearl Pass in the 70s, to hosting the first mountain bike stage race, the town has played a big role in the evolution of mountain biking. But nothing showcases the town's passion for single track like the annual Crested Butte Bike Week. Now in its 34th year, Bike Week is the longest running mountain bike festival in the world. The event combines everything that avid bikers love and the town of Crested Butte embraces. There's a little competition, a lot of costumes, and partying for everyone. People can come and take free demos. The best bikes you're ever gonna ride. $15,000 bikes. Get a free shuttle out to some of these amazing trails. Then come back and have beer, live music. It's just an amazing weekend of bicycle fun. The fun kicks off with a world championship, but this isn't your average championship race. Friday, we jump right into it with the Chainless World Championships. If you've never seen it or never been, this is the most fun you can have on two wheels, I swear. We take people up seven miles to Kepler Pass and people take off their chain and coast seven miles back down mountain passes to the heart of Crested Butte with a finish line right on Main Street. On Saturday, everyone puts their costumes away for the Fat Tire 40. The cross-country race, which has a reputation for being one of the hardest in the country, winds through Crested Butte's famous single track. After the suffer fest of the Fat Tire 40, bikers head into town for the bike carnival and the beer tent. Riders get another chance to show some flair during Bridges of the Butte, a 24-hour bike tour that raises money for the local adaptive sports center. Crested Butte is an iconic destination for any mountain biker, and between the riding, the partying, and the history, Bike Week is just one more reason to visit. Mm -hmm.